Like, wow, everybody. Welcome to Slayer Talk. And now your hosts, Mark and Q. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you, Demonic Shaggy. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to Slayer Talk. My name is Mark. Uh, with me, as always, is my fiance, Carol. How are you doing today, Carol? Hey, what's up? How much has been a good week here? It's October 6th, nineteen. 19- 98. It is. Yours just flying by. It's the spooky month. It's my favorite. Well, eh, <laughs> that might be my favorite month. Yeah. I know it's your favorite month. Yeah, it is my favorite month. Why might it be your favorite month? Because it has Halloween and fall, and yeah. I love fall and Halloween. Yep. Halloween. And it's your birthday. Oh, you're just going to skip over that? <laughs> you don't give a fuck about that? <laughs> I give all the fucks. Uh, do you? <laughs> for uh, for my birthday this year, maybe we should have a dead man's party. Uh, no. This is the title of the episode, everyone, Dead Man's Party. That did not look like the best party. <laughs> Gotta say. Hard to talk. What do you mean? It was hard to talk at that party. Oh, right. Yes. She was trying to talk. It was hard to talk. That Anytime there's a full band uh, with amplifiers and everything... Just hooked up into your living room. So weird. So weird. But Sound travels, guys. I feel like we're getting ahead of ourselves. Oh, ahead of ourselves? Uh-huh. Like uh, someone's head, you know, chopped off. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so last, last week, last well, episode. Previously on Buffy the Vampire <laughs> Slayer. Uh, Buffy had returned. That is how this episode ends, or begins, too. It is. But, yeah, she returned from having <laughs> run away. And so everything's all weird and awkward still. Mm-hmm. The weirdest part of this episode is that everybody is acting, like, weird towards her, like, not themselves. Like, Yeah. Yeah. But, all the characters. I felt like I was watching a different show Yeah, for for a good portion of this. Like, it, it felt like these characters were completely different, other than Buffy. Yeah. It felt like Sarah Michelle Gellar got a big raise. <laughs> Everyone was pissed. Well, no. Okay, so her friends are mad at her for leaving. I get that. I guess. I, I, think, I think they're in the wrong in this situation. Yeah. I think that they handle this very poorly all of them her mom and all of her friends everyone except giles i guess yeah giles doesn't do anything giles is trying to be normal yeah so buffy's mom is having a party a dinner party at her house and she's invite and she's invited all her friends Uh and giles and she wants her to go get the fancy plates giles is a friend isn't he uh He's, he's an old man, and they're teenagers, so I don't know. <laughs> he's her watcher. Yeah. Um, but she sends her to go get the fancy plates, and Buffy's arguing about the fucking fancy plates. She's mm-hmm. like, they're not fancy plate people. She's like, just humor me. Right. Whatever. And she finds a dead cat in the basement. Yeah. Which I assumed was her dead cat, but apparently not. No, it's just some stray cat that came to die. It's really weird. I thought there was going to be, I mean, the way her mom looked at it, I thought her mom killed the cat. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was it was weird, but I guess just a coincidence that cat died. Yeah. Well, and in the very, very beginning of the episode, her mom's, like, unpacking artifacts in the house and hangs up a mask on the wall. And it's like, you know, as soon as she did that, that, yeah. that mask's going to have something to do with the bad stuff in the episode. Exactly. So Buffy and her mom then bury this cat in the backyard. That seems weird. Would you bury a stray cat found in the basement? I'd probably call animal control. Yeah. And have them incinerated. Exactly. Like, why do you want to keep it on your property for the rest of eternity? Yeah. No. And it turns out that her house is uh, the site of a pet cemetery, so. Right. Yeah, because, I mean, that's basically what we start out thinking, because this uh, cat crawls its way out of the grave. Um, mm. But it's not just pets. To do nothing, by the way. Yeah. It do, really does nothing. Giles is able to just grab it by the scruff of its neck. <laughs> no, all it does is uh, stink and uh, alert them to the fact that it came back from the dead. Yeah. And there's something going on. 
Yeah. Also, at the very, very beginning of the episode, Buffy reunites with the gang. Who is yeah. on the hunt for some dude. Oh, yeah, that's true. She hadn't even seen them yet um, at the end of the last episode. No, that's she just saw their, her mom. So, yeah, she, like, saves them because they're fighting a vampire. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Like, <laughs> she's like it's so hey what's up it's, it's totally time for 90210 and exactly like, what are you talking about <laughs> don't watch that show no um i don't know and they seemed happy this year but i the, mean kind of like yeah. but nighthawk also seemed like he was maybe a little disappointed this year nighthawk yeah xander yes yeah yeah he i think he's the most pissed well because i think he became like the I don't know, the alpha dog or, like, the, you know, the leader mm. in her absence or whatever. Okay. And Cordelia was all about it, I guess. Well, you know, you guys can role play whatever. <laughs> right. Nighthawk. <laughs> so funny. Um, so, Buffy, I'm trying to think about, like, everything. Like, I, I really just want to talk. I want to skip ahead and talk about the party, but talk like, about, there's important Talk about things. whatever you want in whatever order you want. <laughs> um, Her mom wants... We're all here for it, Carol. <laughs> her mom wants to try to get her back into school. Yes. And they have a meeting with Principal Schneider. Right. He's such a little troll. He does look like a goblin. Like, yeah, like... There's some no offense to the actor, but there's something wrong with that dude. No offense to the actor, but it looks like you were conjured by J.R.R. Tolkien. <laughs> Was he in Beverly Hills Now 2 and 0? Not Beverly Hills, no. Beverly Hills Cop, that's what I meant. Was he in Beverly Hills Cop? I don't he think so. He looks familiar. I know who you're talking about. Uh-huh. I don't think that's the same person. Okay. I believe the the guy that in, now in, in Beverly Hills Cop that you're talking about <laughs> The one that's like one of the bad guys that kills the, not his partner. Yeah, kills his partner, I guess, right? Um, I think that's an actor. He hasn't been in much, but I think his name is uh, John Jonathan Banks. Okay. So. And this is not him. No. Okay. Um, but yeah, he, he keeps talking about how he feels tingly. Which seems pretty inappropriate. The, all the whole thing is inappropriate. They they have a meeting with him, the mom, Buffy and, and her mom, and the entire meeting he's talking about how much pleasure he's getting out of the fact that he's expelled Buffy and there's no way that she'll ever get back into school and he hates her and all that like the whole thing's inappropriate and highly admissible. Right. And he's talking about, like, um, you should go work at Hot Dog on a Stick. Yeah. You'd look great in their costumes Oh, yeah, and stuff. you'd look so good in their uniforms. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. You're in charge of teenagers? <laughs> but, I mean, like, it, the tingly just it really hit me wrong. Oh, yeah. Of all the of all the principles that should be eaten by dogs. <laughs> right, pigs. Pigs, yeah. Right? No, they're dogs. No. Jackals. Jackals, yeah. Jackals. But I think, but I think he... I think when he talked about that guy, he was like, uh, it's that kind of permissive attitude that gets you eaten eaten by dogs. (laughs) Oh, goodness. Um, So Buffy's mom's like, I'm going to the mayor. I don't understand why. Other than the fact that it's pre-established that he and the mayor are like best friends. Right. But I don't understand, like, what you would talk to the school board, right? Like, I mean, if you're really? following the chain of command, then sure. But I mean, sure, the mayor's like at the top of the chain as far as local. Do you think that the government. mayor has control over the local school system? I think the mayor Maybe. has control over whoever has control over the local school system. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know how it works. Meh. School politics. But they, politics. They do get her back in, though. Because they talk to, you. not the school board, but somebody else. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, I can tell you don't remember. Shut up. Because you've got it completely confused. <laughs> okay, well, then you fill it in then, sir. At the, oh, oh, really? Yeah, really. At the, You've said that before. <laughs> At the very end of the episode, uh, Giles comes into his office. Oh, yeah. And he's this was like, good. Hey, let me talk to you. He's like, if it's about Buffy, save your breath. And he's like, 
yeah, let her back into school because it's a violation of her rights or whatever. And he's like, no, go fuck yourself. I've got a meeting with the mayor. And he's like, yeah, well, you know, you're you're pretty powerful here locally. Uh, I think I'll just go to the state Supreme Court. How about that? <laughs> he also, like, physically threatened him. Well, he's like, he goes, do you, do you think you scare me or whatever? And then he, like, grabs him by the collar and gets really close to his face. And he goes, do you want me to scare you? <laughs> it's pretty fucking cold. Yeah, it, it was pretty cool. Giles was a cool guy in this episode. Yeah. It's very rare for him. But yeah, so I'm sure next episode we'll get to see Buffy at school. Yeah, probably. It'll be exciting. I mean, uh, this all of this is to get back everything back to normal, right. essentially. To undo the blowing up that they did at the end of last season. Right. Although they can't undo the big blowing up of, you know, Angel going to hell. Well, they're going to have to do something. Because he's still in the credits, one... And two, he was in this episode. Yeah, but I mean, that could be why he's in the credits, because he was, like, in her dream. You know, like, he could be, like, a reoccurring, like, fuck it, maybe she'll lose her mind. And he's, like, a hallucination. Oh, that's actually not bad. But yeah, she dreamt about him in this episode. Yeah. Oh, Angel. They were walking in the sunlight, so, you know, it was a dream. Um, But, okay, so, anyways, now that we've talked about all that, her mother is throwing her this party. Um, and when they show up, like, it's not just her friends and it's not a dinner party. It's everybody. It's like they invited the whole school or something. It's weird. It's the Browns, but right in her and, and everyone's drinking. These are like supposed to be high schoolers, yeah. right? Like, yeah, and her mom, and Joyce her, is not worried about this, I guess. Her mom and her mom's friend are just like in the kitchen, like whatever. We'll just let the kids take over the house and yeah. sit in here and drink. Like what? Drink schnapps and champagne. Why? Her mom has a book club friend that's over. Yeah, her mom's a fucking alcoholic. Yeah, I think so. She's yelling at her in front of her. She's like, and I've had schnapps. Right. Although if she was a hardcore alcoholic, schnapps wouldn't really matter. Probably not. But yeah, so... The, well, the whole gang is talking about the party, and they're like, what should it be? Should it be a gathering? Should it be... I, first of all, I love the fact that they think they get to choose what kind of event this is. Right. When it's not their party to plan, it's her mom's. Yeah, they just got invited. But they're like, should it be a, a gathering, a shindig, or a hootenanny? <laughs> I'll tell funny. you what. The, the show is good. Mm-hmm. And I generally like it. Sometimes Joss Whedon is too clever for too clever by half. Okay, because sometimes it gets a little insufferable. So you you didn't like the hoot nanny? I didn't like the whole discussion of you know a gathering is brie and cheese and and a uh, shindig is brie is cheese whatever <laughs> and a shindig is. Like loud music or whatever, dip. yeah, dip, and then a hoot nanny is where uh, uh, tons of hoot are had and and a little bit of nanny. Yeah, I don't and know. it's like no, that's that's not the funny thing that you think it is. Joss, sorry, <laughs> you're just you're just mean sometimes. I'm sorry, yeah. just saying. Um, but yeah, they apparently chose hoot nanny. Sure. And the house is taken the fuck over. Now, we already knew the dead cat, that which Giles took this dead cat to the school. Like, and it stinks. Everybody's talking about that. Like, what? How did they get away with all this bullshit in the library? I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, so he's at the library trying to figure out about the cat. And the party's going on. And then all of a sudden we start seeing there's all these dead people popping up. All over town. Yeah, lots of people are fucking dying in the small town, too, which is weird. I still think that it was probably people coming up from the grave. Yeah, I think some of them were just coming back from the dead that were buried in the town cemetery or whatever, too. But, like, we see a dude that's, like, fucking had been hit by a car or something like that. Yeah. And there's, like, a couple other people, like, somebody, like, a burn victim that's dying in the hospital. It just seems like a lot of shit's going yeah. on tonight. <laughs> that's true. And then... Like, they just go attack the party. That's weird, too. I guess because of the mask. The mask was drawing them. Yeah, they want to get the mask. <laughs> Somebody stop there! Oh, no. Oh, no, he didn't. 
<laughs> uh, you know, the mask. Yeah, I got yeah. it. I got it. <laughs> um, Dumb movie. A horrible movie, but we love Jim Carrey now, so. Well, we loved the one movie he did, so. <laughs> uh, so, Party is taken over by zombies. Party of five. And Buffy's mom gets killed by said zombies. No. Not not her mom, her friend. Her Jesus mom's friend. I'm sorry. Buffy's mom is ripped in half by zombies. <laughs> and they just put her back together. That's just what you wanted to happen. <laughs> I really don't like her. I don't like her either. But no, okay, so her friend gets killed. Yeah. And she comes back. Her friend gets killed by a zombie. And then she comes back to life because all the people that are dead are coming back to life. And then she puts on the mask. Yeah. And she says, smoking. <laughs> uh, no, she um, she puts on the mask because apparently whoever puts on the mask is the, the zombie demon king. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. And, like, they just have this random, like, horrifying relic just in their house. Yeah. Why does she... This seems like theft, too. Right? Why does she get all these... The, the, you wouldn't think that these, like, priceless artifacts that her museum or whatever that is curating, that they would just be in her house. Yeah. And it was weird. hung on the wall. Like, was she just going to keep that mask? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, she's certainly not the most moral person. She's a fucking art thief. She's awful. She's a Thomas Crown affair <laughs> mom. Um, but yeah, and this mask demon zombie thing is like shooting light beams at people. From its eyes? And I don't... What did that do? It stunned them. I guess. I mean, they don't really explain it or anything. It's like... So it has the same effect as a flash bulb. <laughs> right. Well, oh, oh, what's, oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, they seemed frozen for like a couple seconds or whatever. Yeah, like I a mean, flash bulb. Long, a, a flash bulb would... Fr- a, f- that. <laughs> a flash bulb? <laughs> That's your neighbor Bob that runs by and flashes us each day. A flash bulb would freeze people? I mean, not literally freeze them. But I like, think this I literally freeze be... them. Okay. No. I don't know. Maybe. It's not ever really explained. I mean, it was long enough that, that they got Buffy. Do we have to disassemble my joke? <laughs> sorry. Um, no, you don't need to be sorry. Anyway, so uh, the other thing, too, is to, like Giles, like Giles risks his life to get there and to be like, hey, uh, what's your name? Wolf boy. <laughs> Oz. Oz. Tell her to get the eyes. And then he's like, hey, Buffy. And she's like, what? And then she stabs the fucking thing with a shovel through the eyes. Mm -hmm. And is like, uh, she says something like, hey, see you later. I don't know. So some Uh stupid pun. Uh It's some dumb. I don't remember what it is, but she says some dumb pun about the eyes or whatever. And then uh, he's like, oh, never mind. (laughs) Way to trivialize Giles' sacrifice to get to the party. Yeah, I mean, the whole time Giles is uh, late to the party because he's trying to crack this case. Yeah, and he, and he almost dies. All the action. <laughs> A little late to the party there, sir. But yeah, so that's it. That is pretty much it. I mean, like, except for the emotional stuff that then comes out. Yeah, Buffy and her friends, you know, have it out because, like, she she's literally about to run away. Um, well, let's tell him why she's about to run away. She's walking. This is before the, the zombie yeah. breaks loose. But she's walking through the party. She's already yelled. Like, Will has already yelled at her, essentially. And uh, she walks by, and she hears her mom tail end conversation to her new friend, Pat, I think. Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, in some ways, it's uh, it's worse now that Buffy's back. <laughs> Not the part of the conversation that you really want her to hear. Yeah. That was fucking mean as shit. Yeah, even without her hearing it. Yeah, why is she... Like, what's worse? What does she mean? I want to know. I mm-hmm. wish that we could ask her some questions. <laughs> what's worse? Fuck you, Joyce. Yeah, I know. I don't really like her character that much, to be honest with you. But yeah, I mean, anyone who heard their mom say that, they would be leaving. So she starts to pack up, and Willow's like, oh, you're just going to fucking leave again? And it's like, yeah, you guys are treating her like shit. Mm-hmm. Like... I'm 100% on Buffy's side in this. 
Because I get that they're upset, but, like, why not say, like, hey, we're upset that you left. Maybe talk to us about that. And, like, reach some kind of understanding. But, like, she was accused of murder and kicked out of school. And then her mom basically told her, get the fuck out of my life. Mm Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, well, we're going to be mad at you, Buffy, for leaving in in those situations. Are you kidding me? And she killed a fucking angel. Yeah. Sent him to hell. Yeah, she went. She's been through a lot. And, like, her mom still didn't apologize for it. Like, when Buffy fled outside, I left because you told me to. Right. And she's just like, well, you know, I'm sorry. I'm human. I, I'm not perfect. Yeah. Like, not, and uh, she didn't apologize. The I'm sorry is not an apology. Right. I, I hate her. <laughs> but, yeah, and then and Willow's all like, I've been studying fucking witchcraft and shit. And I have a boyfriend, a real boyfriend, and he's a werewolf. And, and I, like... I don't know, I reached the fucking spirit realm or something like that. A bunch of adventures we didn't get to see. Yeah. And it's like, she's like, I wish I had someone to talk to about that. And it's like, oh, boo-hoo. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I don't know, I just didn't really feel that sorry for her with as much of an asshole as she was acting towards Buffy. Okay, well, that's because you don't understand teenage girls, okay? Like... Not having her best friend there when she's going through stuff, that that's a big deal. That's something she can be mad about. Like, I understand, yes, they shouldn't have treated her like that, but I can also understand them being upset. I thought it was going to come out that, like, some fucking, like, mind virus had taken them over yeah. and turned them into assholes. Yeah, me too. I was waiting for, like, oh, you know, they've been, there's a demon or something, but mm-hmm. no, no. Nope, just they're just mad at her. So hopefully things are better next episode. Hopefully the characters are acting like themselves again. I mean, like, Xander was talking to Buffy, kind of, while Cordelia was nibbling on his ears and his neck. And, that was weird, yeah. Yeah, it's like, with him and shit. what is happening? That's not normal behavior either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I thought that was weird, too. Like, I agree. I thought that was abnormal. And uh, he, they say something. Oh, yeah. Cordelia's like... Cordelia's being nice mm-hmm. and trying to say, like, hey, look at it from uh, Buffy's point of view, though. And she's trying to, like, tell her, you know, tell them, like, what it's like. And then this is the one thing that Buffy does wrong, in my opinion, where she's like, hey, Cordelia, get out of my shoes. It's like, she's fucking helping you, yeah. ass. Just <laughs> listen, let her talk. But, yeah, I mean, she, nobody's acting like themselves. No. So I don't know. I mean, maybe it's some, maybe it is something that's going to carry over the next episode. I don't know, or maybe everything will be normal again. I suspect that everything will be normal again because she'll be back in school. They talked out their drama. Her and her mom made up. All of it's going to be like normal again. Well, we'll see. Yeah. But anyway, that is the episode for the week, Carol. So you can write us at late fee nineteen ninety four com. Yes. Check out our website at www.retroleapv.com. Uh-huh. And share the tapes with your friends. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.